Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Daryl here. Today we're going to look at five of my favorite unique guitar techniques. Let's get started. For today's video, we're going to be using Dragon's Heart picks. We're going to be recording our guitar sounds directly into the computer using S gear. We're going to be using a JP50 by Music Man, this Les Paul by Epiphone, as well as this Telecaster. Alright, so we're looking at touched harmonics today. Now this is a technique I first saw Adrian Bellow do um, from King Crimson, just a really creative, uh, insane guitar player. Um, but you don't see the technique used a lot, so I thought it would be great to include it in this video. So with our left hand, we're just sort of doing some pentatonic licks in A minor. I think we're all uh, familiar with that pentatonic scale. But the concept is then I'm going up 12 frets and sort of visualizing that same A minor pentatonic scale um, an octave up. And that way, when you play a note and sustain it, you just come across and play 12 frets up right on top of the fret itself. So you just lightly touch and it will sort of bloom that note into a harmonic. So it doesn't matter which note you play, you can play second string or first string notes as well. So just a really creative technique that's a lot of fun to use. Um, you can also use uh, seven frets up from the notes you're playing and five notes as well, just like regular harmonics. Okay, so the second technique we're going to look at today is the pick edge tap. Now I first saw Joe Satriani use this, um, and it can be a real head turner as long as you don't overuse it. Um, if you're just playing some regular soloing and phrasing and then you throw it in, um, yeah, it can be a really nice effect. Um, so uh, just some ideas that you guys can use. Uh, if you're playing a note, like this D on third string, if you come up a, a tone and a half, that gives you a really nice kind of melodic way to use that. Or on second string, same concept, up a tone and a half. Um, yeah, it's a really cool thing. And you can, of course, come up higher, you can slide. There's all sorts of different ways you can use it. Uh, on the intro, you saw me using it on 12th fret. So all sorts of things like that. It's a really creative, fun little technique. So our third technique is playing the strings behind the bridge. Now you need obviously a specific guitar um, to accomplish this and whether uh, your strings come to a stop tail piece or they go through the body, um, yeah, it can just be a little, uh, a little bit of interest um, in your rhythm playing. So there's nothing much to it other than I would say probably using a thick pick helps you kind of dig in um, to get those strings to ring and also using your bridge pickup. Um, they'll just uh, yeah come through your amp a little bit more and yeah overdrive or higher distortion is best um, but yeah enjoy it's just a fun little uh, way to spice up your playing. So for our fourth technique, we're talking about vibrato behind the nut. Now again, this is a fairly easy technique. You just have to take your index finger, cross it um, uh, across all six strings, and you can use a few fingers to help squeeze your thumb on the back of the neck if you want, and then you just simply, yeah, squeeze at whatever rate of vibrato you want. Or something faster. 
And again, it just uh, is a unique way to add some interest, um, yeah, to chords and sustained notes um, on instruments that you don't have a whammy bar. Alright, so the fifth technique we're going to look at is the manual B bender. Now we're using add nine chords, or two chords, and then we're going to complete the A chord by bending that second string up to the major third to complete the chord. And that works for any add nine chord, you probably saw me playing a few of them like that. And we're again just taking that second scale degree and completing the chord by adding the major third. So it's a really fun technique. Um, it's used in country a lot and of course you can bend on any sort of strings. Um, you, you know, third and second um, are the most common. But yeah, it's just a fun technique to mess around with and find some really creative ways to complete chords. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. Uh, we'll see you guys next Monday with part two of my favorite guitar techniques. We'll see you then. Take care.